Hello, welcome to another tutorial about QuantUX. In this video, I will show how our new A-B testing functionality works. Let's start by creating a simple prototype. This prototype consists mainly of four screens. The first one is the start screen, where the user will start with the prototype. Then there will be two different screens, an A screen and a B screen. Both screens lead to a final end screen. Once we finish the basic layout, we can add a logic operator to the canvas. We just drop it there and we can for instance give it a name like AB. Now we wire the start button to the logic operator. When we select the operator, we can change for instance its name, but more importantly, we can actually configure it to be an AB operator. Afterwards, we wire the logic operator to the A screen and the B screen. We can improve the design a little bit. We can make, for instance, the A screen blue and the B screen red, so that it's easy to distinguish what is happening in the next step. When you launch the simulator and click the Start button, the A-B test is triggered. One time you will end on the A screen and another time on the B screen. Now let's have a look at a real-world example. For instance, check out this app. I modeled an online shopping application that tries to test whether a static page without animation works better than a page with animation. I have tested this prototype with 80 users that I acquired over Twitter. I have created two analytic tasks, one for the static prototype and one for the dynamic animated prototype. When we open now the task dashboard, we can compare both tasks. For instance, we can use the scatter plot to plot the duration against the interactions, or we can use a box plot to compare the different probability densities. The AB testing data is of course also available in the analytic canvas. There we can see for instance the different heat maps for the A or the B screen. This was the short introduction into AB testing with QuantUX. If you have further questions, please don't hesitate to drop me a mail. See you soon on QuantUX.com.